Hi, uh, welcome to Paris. Um, so it's dark outside. Yes. We got here, I think, at like 6.45. Got to our hotel, we can show you that. Extremely quick. It's very small. It is like 100 square feet. It, it really is very small. It's like the size of a cruise ship. Came out for a little field trip, so we can show you guys that when it's time. Hopefully it doesn't rain on us. Um, I hope not. We do have the umbrellas ready to go that we got for four pounds at Primark. <laughs> but welcome to Paris. Welcome to Paris. Day one, night one. We just had dinner at some Italian restaurant. We did. I didn't film it though because I'm tired. <laughs> It's been a it's been a long day. It has been a long day. We did lots of exploring in London that we've had. It's well worth it. Okay. <laughs> so we'll show you guys when it's time. Okay, well that's no fun. We're, the, we're at the Eiffel Tower and it's blacked out. So there goes that surprise. Um we were trying to wait for the next sparkle, so we waited 55 minutes. And it just shut off, but we think it's because of the rain. But that means Devin's gonna come back next time, okay? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll come back tomorrow. I was like, we should just do this it's every all about night. The content, okay? She's gonna get the Eiffel Tower for you guys. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to day two in Paris. It is our first full day here. We are getting ready. I just threw my hair up today. It's supposed to rain, so I'm not really like gonna worry too much about it. I did light makeup today because tomorrow I have to do full glam. We got a full day tomorrow. We're going to the Louvre. We're going to the Palace of Versailles. So it is going to be a whole day tomorrow. So today we get light makeup, but we're gonna go look for a cafe we slept in this morning. So it's uh, kind of late. It's like 1 p.m. And we're gonna go sightseeing and see what we can get ourselves into. So I'll be sure to bring you guys with us. We took the subway. We are out and about at the first tourist stop. And we have the Arc de Triomphe. <laughs> and the, the big famous roundabout that's all crazy. There's no direction and people are slamming into everyone. It is crazy. This is just a chocolate cappuccino. And that's what I'm thinking, yeah. We're having a bit of a crisis. So we decided to stop for lunch. Um, the website canceled our tickets to the Palace of Versailles. So we had to pull over make new reservations, figure out how we're leaving this place. We stopped to get French onion soup. It looks so good. It is steamy. <laughs> I'm finally getting my French music. All right, well, once was the Lock Bridge. Um, they took them all off in like 2015. So they have uh, barriers up. But they did leave a few on like the poles because the bridge was getting weighed down by all of the locks. So I can show you like what it used to be. So you can see there's this barrier here. <laughs> but all these locks were once across the whole bridge. And the view is beautiful. So you have the canal over here. I don't know what that is. And then you have all of this over here. Made it to the island where... Your phone's where Notre Dame is. Rachel's playing photographer for a girl, and then I'm gonna take my turn. People everywhere here. So it is still a little bit under construction. You can see, but that's okay because we made it. We hit up Nicholas. If you know what Nicholas is, it is a liquor store here. Oh my gosh, there's a French pug. Can you see the French pug? Okay, anyways, so if you hit up Nicholas, it's actually 
specifically a wine, wine, champagne. They have very little beer. So we went and we got some wine. Some wine. And more wine. Um, so we're just drinking this in front of the Eiffel Tower. Just, just get, just get lit. We're people watching. We're watching all the dogs. We're watching all the people. We have guys giving us weird looks. I'm like, do not look at me like that. Do not look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> look at her like that but I left my ring at home because I didn't want to lose it because knowing me better safe right safe enough. I would lose it so I don't have it you finishing up they will try and sell to you bring your own because it is B -Y -O -B. not it is not worth it people not -O -B. worth it BYOB because you're allowed to do that here so if you need us we're gonna be here Get lit. <laughs> we had to move. We moved to the, we went to the bathroom and then the line was too long. So I went and I found a cafe and they were like, are you sitting outside? And I was like, yeah. Literally, it was like a 20 minute wait for the prior bed. Longer than that, was, it was like an hour wait. So I found the nearest cafe. I went downstairs and I had to go. And then she followed through. I did, because I found another one that was across the street and that was barely moving, so. Smart move. Yeah, it was It was not the move. There is no bathrooms at the Eiffel Tower, so if you come, beware. the Louvre. Please focus. So we came to see the Mona Lisa. We're walking up a million steps. Let's see. We got a whole 30 seconds of Mona before they were gonna kick us out. Was it um, I mean, it's bigger than we it, thought it was. Because everyone made it seem like it was like pencil size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's decent. Size. It's like the size of a normal like canvas yeah. photo. But so now we're just gonna finish off the Danan. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yeah, we don't. Section where Mona was and. Now we gotta go. We got lunch. Yes. Earlier. Y'all, I'm so out of breath. There's a, there's a lot of stairs here. There's always paths. It took us, it took us like 45 minutes to find the exit. So, spend the whole day here if you can. With a map. <laughs> With a map. But we're on the outside now of the Louvre. We're gonna go take photos in front of the pyramid before we head to Versailles. <sighs> Out of breath. Rubber side. Well, we made it. <laughs> okay, you guys, it has been a day. Last time we talked, I think we were at the Palace of Versailles and we were having lunch 
and then we ended up going to the carriage house because it was free to do a tour through that but we could not get tickets into the garden or to the actual estate just because you have to book a so many days in advance we didn't have the time to do that so we just took a train back to our hotel we ordered some food um off uber eats we just ate it really quick it's actually pretty early it is uh 7 14 and it's our last night in paris tomorrow we are going to geneva switzerland so we actually have to get up really early we ordered an uber to take us to the airport the first two flights of the day were green and the rest were yellow so that is the only reason why we are getting up so early is because nobody from air france will give us loads on staff traveler which is used for flight attendants and whatnot so you can see how many seats are open on other flights there is also a hurricane headed towards florida um, the day we're actually supposed to come home. So we're deciding whether or not we're going to extend our stay in Zurich and do a night there or if we're going to fly to another country. We have a few options, but getting back to the United States is the biggest struggle because I feel like not many places over in Europe fly directly to the U.S. that we have benefits on. You have to stop somewhere or there are places that we've already been to don't want to go or are red or yellow. We have another two days to think about what we want to do. It's like we might just be staying in Zurich and then flying out of Zurich back to the United States. So we will keep you guys updated. Um, hopefully you guys like these vlogs even though I'm not filming a ton. I just really want to enjoy my time here because I'm really trying to get as much in as I absolutely possibly can. I'm going to go ahead and conclude this Paris adventure. I'll see you guys in Geneva, Switzerland, before we head to Zermatt.